Well, you know, I got stuck at the airport. Um, we were about to take off for the UK, and 9-11 happened. We could see the uh, Twin Towers, see the smoke, and the pilot on the plane announced that there had been an attack in New York and that we were all to stay in America, and not allowed to take off. So I ended up in Long Island, uh, watching it on TV, like so many people around the world. And immediately the feeling was, well, we've got to do something. What can we do? And I sensed from all my New York friends that there was a, a great feeling of fear because nobody knew that it would happen again. If so, how soon? What was going to happen in other cities or whatever? So there was a very unsettled feeling. Um, and the truth was, I found myself calling on my dad's experience from World War II. He'd been a fireman in World War II. And the spirit was all, roll out the barrel, let's have a barrel of fun, you know, in the face of all this terror. So I thought, yeah, you know, that's the thing to do is music um, and, and try and capture that spirit, try and help people. So I started thinking about it. And eventually I heard that other people were thinking about it, Harvey Weinstein in particular. So I got in touch with Harvey. I said, were you doing one? He said, I said, I'm thinking of doing one. So we got together and that's how it started.